You're not spending enough. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling. Oh. Ah. So I just got off the horn of these people uh, here in Georgia. Uh, it's the same old story. Oh, but Josh, all your clients are wealthy. What is wealthy exactly? Explain wealthy, would you? Could you? Should you? Wealthy. Was, anyway, and uh, and they're just kicking ass and taking names. And um, and I just, I, it's funny. So it's like, man. So let me show you here. Check this out. Here's the uh, the money. Their 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 probability of success, a hundred percent. Um, the only difference, <laughs> they're not even millionaires dudes. And when I, you know, they have rental, they have real estate, um, rent, a rental real, small, rent, small, they generate 2000 a month from rental real estate, but they might actually downsize their home and move into the, uh, the rental real estate that they have. So they no longer generate rental real estate. They don't even have a million dollars in liquidity and liquid cash. What I'm saying. Anyway, the point being is here is their retirement success, 100%, which says you're not spending enough. Here they take Social Security at 65. Here they take Social Security at 67. This is the median liquid net worth they leave to their kids, a median liquid net worth. That doesn't include their real estate either. And the real estate between them is worth about a million bucks. And again, a million bucks is primary residence where they live, and then they got the small condo they're renting out. And they'll downsize probably a small condo. <laughs> Dude, when I see 100%, that means you're not spending enough. All right. If I see uh, under 80%, that means you're probably spending a little bit too much and you might need to tighten your belt if the markets go south. 85% is a sweet spot. But if I see 100%, anyway, so it's, we're sitting there and uh, – because I knew this was going to happen. I could see it my way. They have, you know, they're driving older vehicles at 70,000 miles on each. You know, they, they paid off their rent. They pay off. They have no debt whatsoever. They just don't spend that much money. It's always the case. It's, you know, this is this is freaking the America that is still out there, my friends. To, uh, to be anti-American in this day and age is to be anti-people like this. And I won't have it. That's why I still love America. The best of America. Love or leave it, baby. But Bo Jai is an office. He's not America. Bo Jai is not America, man. Yeah, screw that guy. You know what I'm saying? But Josh, uh, I, was, I, I was accused of being a Biden fanboy the other day because this is still the best place there is. Still, look, I even got an American flag tattoo. Can you see that right there? American flag tattoo. That, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not. <laughs> in hindsight, I wish I didn't have any tattoos. American flag tattoo. I love America, still do. And I got that in my right wing days. I'm still a right winger, but like, oh, Bush, he needs to get beat. You know, this is when I first got out of the army, I got this tattoo right here. And then I, this one right here. And then I, uh, I found some, some couple friends of mine that were, you know, aspiring tattoo artists that we got, uh, uh, some, you know, drinking tattoos. It doesn't make sense. I got one of my backs, a drinking tattoo. Was, and that American flag went on top of that. Anyway, this is, so you're against America, against these people. You could be against American government, absolutely, but not against the country because the country still crushes. We're still the best game in town, without question, man. Anyway, so I'm talking to these guys. I'm like, dude, I said, uh, you got to spend more. And, uh, and she just kind of pointed at him, you know, a guy like this. I said, I know, I know. Remember I said the other day, buy the damn shoes. So I gave them a, a $10,000 a month, a month, a year travel budget, and they can do whatever they want with it. And it's just, I, I tell you, man, when you don't have debt. So anyway, I knew they were going to be fine. Let's crunch the numbers before I got on the call because it's like, look, between them, they're going to get, you know, like 5500 bucks a month of Social Security. Yeah, he's getting 2500 She's getting about 3000 or so. It's 5500 bucks a month. They got no debt. That's $66,000 a year. She's got a tiny little pension of less than about 400 bucks a month that covers her Medicare. That's, that's $70,000 a year just from their Social Security and a pension. And that's pretty much all they need right there. They don't need anything more. But, but America, Josh, is 70000 bucks. That's the median household income, dudes. And, of course, if the bulk of their income is Social Security, they don't pay any taxes. Now, they are going to get rental income, which will make their a little bit taxed. But again, if they retire from the downsize at home, sell it, put on cash at 5%, and then freaking don't have any rental income, they're not hardly paying any tax at all. Check this out. Their portfolio connotation, construction. 
76% T-bills and money markets, fixed income. A little bit in some uh, stocks, T-bills and money markets. A little bit in an annuity, a fixed annuity or an indexed annuity, not much. And the rest in T-bills and money markets. 4.3% is our expected annual return on that. And yet we're getting that more right now in just T-bills and money markets. They got to spend more. How do they do it? I don't know. I don't, like I tell the guys, all I need is my dogs, my garden. I like to have a pool and my Traeger. That's all I need, man. I don't need much. I'm still eating t-shirts I probably had for 10 years, actually. These are about three years old. These are dry fit t-shirts, which I like. But still, I haven't changed my underwear in 15 years. You know what I'm saying? You like that one, Penelope? You're out there. Penelope always gets a chuckle out of that. She goes, ugh. Still wearing the same old underwear from many, many moons ago. These socks. You know, when they get, when I do get, when I get holes in my socks, I chuck them. You know, it usually takes a few years before I get holes. I, you know, I walk all the time and stuff. So what else would I spend my money on? I don't want to go to Australia. I don't want to go to freaking, I just, but a lot of people are going to need to learn to spend more. And I don't know what it'd be on. But don't keep working under the auspices that you have to work because you can't retire if you haven't crunched any numbers, man. Because now I'm showing you, you could have retired a couple of years ago and spent a hell of a lot more than you're going to do. And there's, they're just never going to do it because they're just not that kind of people. So they're going to die with a lot more than they ever thought they would. And that's okay. But do they have to work for an extra you know, 15, 20? Oh, man. I mean, they might, you might need to. I know I do because I still got debt. Once the debt's paid off, we downsize. It's going to be a whole different ballgame, though. Anyway, they got to spend more. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.